Alrighty, so we've moved house. We have, we've moved house. And uh, there's a lot more noisy around here than normal. And I'm having trouble finding a slot where I, when I can actually get down and record. Um, it's most likely there's going to be heaps of background noise. Uh, we've got cars running past, everything, man. It's just so noisy in this part of the neighborhood. Um, and everyone's home, so everyone's going to come barging in. You know, that kind of thing. So recording is going to be a bit of a pain. But anyway, we've been doing some work in here. We got to the point where, um, oh, the music is playing. Let me fix that. We have been breeding up these animals while we have been, um, while you guys have been away from seeing me actually record stuff. But, um, yeah, here we go. We've got like a bunch of pigs all following me with a, what? What's up with you guys? Anyway, so now what I need to do is I need to break some of these blocks. Um, but these guys haven't grown up enough yet, so I'm going to have to wait until I've grown up. Uh, there's still some baby cows in there, or calves, some calf, some calves. I don't know, I don't have certain American styles. Anyway, um, and we've got some sheeps and we've got some pigs. Um, they fall down the hole, which I've done many times. Uh, so I need to let these grow up first. So while we're doing, while that's happening, I'm going to go over and build the flags. I need to do, make some flags on my flagpoles. I need to grab some dye. Did I bring the dye here? I think I brought the dye over. I want some, um, I think it was orange and red, I think I wanted, maybe we use, no, no, I need wool. I've got wool, I just need to find the dye, I thought I brought some over, maybe I did not. There we go, those are the flagpoles we're going to do, we've got um, a little bit of orange wool, a little bit of red wool, I had enough flowers in the end, I, I, yeah, but I, I mean, <laughs> yellow flowers, who really likes them, right? Yeah, so I need to go, hmm down there and then climb back up and then start working on these um, flags. Now, I don't know if you guys watch B00 or not, B00 I should say, um, but he did a really cool thing where we made a flag and so I'm basically going to copy what he did sort of ish um, because I really don't know how to make flags. Uh, that would be the only reason why I'm doing that. Anyway, I could probably go from over here, right? Let's do this. Okay, it's still night time, but I think that'll do. That looks okay. Um, just need to add one more over there. I'll probably just change the pattern a little bit so it's not exactly identical. But uh, it's not too shabby, not too shabby. So we've got our orange and our red flag, and that sort of fits with our colours. Uh, Alright, so let's get rid of the scaffolding and go ahead and do the other one. And then we've got to do some... Uh, we've got to put some carpet on top of here and the lamp on top of that post and the reason why I put carpet on there is because this place it snows here right so if we put carpet down uh, the snow will not land or settle on the carpet and we learnt that when we did the old sheep prank at old Cypress's base <laughs> and uh, it kind of makes the sheep look um, it made the sheep look like it was all one colour instead of having white sitting on its back all right, sun's coming up. I think that is probably going to look all right. Um, hmm, it's a slightly different pattern. It sort of curves more around the sort of corner with the breeze than the other one does, so that kind of might look all right from a distance. Oh, that ship is beautiful. <laughs> I love seeing that ship. It makes me happy. Okay, um, so I need to put the carpet on and the lamps. So let's go ahead and grab some uh, bits and pieces to do that. Now, hopefully, are these flags the same height? Oh yeah, they, they are. Right. Um, this one may look a bit different. It's... Uh, yeah, it'll be okay. It'll be, it'll be alright. Right, I'm going to go make some carpet. And I'm going to go get some lamps. And I'll be back and we'll finish this off. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yep, I like that. Still not super sold on the gold down there though. I also want to put some like leaf bushes around here like that. Maybe some seating. That would look, that would make that look a bit better. At the moment, it's kind of like out of place. And maybe the gold is too much. I probably want to replace it with red stained clay. Might look better. All right. I still need to fix that back entrance over there. Get rid of that. Okay, here we go. I need my magic shovel, and I'm going to break... Uh, yeah, this block, I think. That one. I'm going to need to break out this here. Now, hopefully, all the cows have grown to full size. Looks like they have. Mm-hmm. There may be a few too many cows. <laughs> uh, anyway, okay, so we're going to break this block out and hopefully everything stays in there. Oh! Yes! Success! Okay. Um, then we'll put the glass back because we need to do that. And what's going to happen now is when we breed up the baby cows, they're going to 
fire out rapidly out this way and then drop down the tube on either side and we can't control what tube they drop down but the reason why I've got two tubes is to allow them to pop out instead of getting stuck in the middle and adding to the stack of cows we've got so we're not going to get increased amounts of cows in the centre okay that one's done um, dang it I don't have ender pearls do I no um, I can't get out <laughs> no. let's see did anything yeah see the pig a uh, little baby pig flew out here and hit that block and then dropped down the hole so that's sitting there nicely waiting for a cart to pick it up now um, let's do the rest of these carrots let's get some more little baby pigs happening down here Okay, so let's breed up some sheep, and can we see them pop out? Yep, there we go. Nice. Let's do the cows. Cows should be the same. And you should see some cows fly around. Yep, whoa! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Alright, that's probably as many as I'm going to get. So let's put the, the wheat away, the carrots away, and we're going to wait now for this to grow up. In the meantime, what we should end up doing is, let's go down and... Uh, inspect this again, make sure everything's all ready to go. Yeah, this, this is all ready to go. Um, we'll fix everything there. Let's grab these blocks. There we go, there's a nice shot of our little farm slash breeding setup. And now we can select by switching these which animal we want to eat. And that'll be great. This is going to be awesome, man. What do you think? What do you guys think about this? This is... um. This is a pretty neat idea, I think. So we can we can have a little buffet, and we'll cook them up, and fire them into our little torch tower, and then have their drops sent over to the restaurant. I think that's going to be cool. Yeah. So what we've got here now is something that kind of works. Um, all you need to do is place a button on here now, and it will uh, trigger the right cell. <laughs> and uh, there may be some noise in the background. Not much I can do about that, but anyway. Let's see, so um, how this works, let's um, pull her up here for a second and I'll show you. Eh, 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 eh. Um, so there's a button here, right? Above the button there is some redstone dust, like this, and then it goes into the redstone dust here. And before we had the repeater going to this block, but this works exactly the same. There's no delay though. Um, so the redstone dust powers us directly, and I guess that's kind of okay because we don't really need delay. Um, before I push any of these buttons though, um, I need to hook up um, a signal, yeah, going straight up and then uh, onto the dispenser, so, hmm, we also need to work on the um, interior of this, I'm not going to do this today, I've run out of time completely, this is probably going to be a bit longer than normal this episode, uh, and so we're just going to have to deal with that. And yeah, so back up to the top I need to go and I will look at that redstone going up to the to the to the dispenser and let's do that right now. I'm on a little sneaky mission here, and that is I am going to deliver some goods to Paul. <laughs> he asked for some uh, nether brick and um, I said I don't really have a lot and I don't really have a lot not much smelted anyway but I've got a lot of these but he also said he wanted some half slaps and uh, that was a typo but we're going to give him some slaps so I'm going to collect all the half slaps I've got and rename them and go and deliver those <laughs> at his base and uh, put them in a chest called half slaps and yeah should be good eh should be good should be good for a laugh um, I haven't been to his base so it'd be kind of cool to check it out and I'm getting all the half slaps I've got that's enough I think I think that's all I've got. Half slaps, nothing in there. What's in here? Anything? Ready? Half slaps. Can I copy that? Yes. Some half slaps. Okay, so we've got all our half slaps all ready to go. We've got our slap container and our instruction manual how to use half slaps, just place, and an item frame. <laughs> and an item frame so let's go and head off to Paul's base and I don't know where that is so it's probably going to be a little bit of fun trying to find it let's see if we can run down there here really fast okay this looks like Paul's little base of village uh, hopefully this is actually his base and he hasn't moved location and gone some other place but let's just head on in here and see where it goes Oh, crumbs! 
Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, okay, uh-huh, uh-huh. Certainly is little. Okay, mm, looks like he's... Mm -hmm. Let's go down here. What was that? Sticks? I don't want sticks. Um. Okay, okay. Right, right, so, uh, I don't know, um... Spawners that way. <laughs> good to know, good to know. Holy Tree of Ridgewood. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Paul's Village. Does he actually live here? Does he? Alright, anyway, this is Paul's village, apparently. Um, I'm not sure if this is his base or not, but we will leave it here, and I'll let him know that I've left it here. Uh, let's go inside, though, because we don't want to be outside and do this. Let's place it right here. Alright, let's place down the chest here, and um, it's called the slap container. <laughs> let's slap all those slaps in there. Alrighty. Let's place a item frame on there and the manual. Ha! <laughs> to use half slaps, just place. Ta da! <laughs> Alright, there you go, Paul. Some half slaps for you, um, as requested, and I will carry on. Now, how do I get back? Alright, so I've come up with some wiring. That's the messiest wiring I've done in a long time. Uh, this is survival, of course, <laughs> but anyway. So just below here are those buttons that we just talked about. Uh, below these blocks here, this one, two, three. And so we had the red stone line come through here that switches off the different um, tracks and whatnot. Um, why is that one switched? So, like so. All right. And, um, oh, sorry, I checked it, tested it just before. So, I want to send a signal up to the dispenser. Now, the problem I've got is, <laughs> it's way up there, and it's right next to a hopper clock, uh, and I've got to go right past that, and I had to sort of work out, um, the torch that is by the hopper clock has to be off, <laughs> so that it's not being powered, so the items can still get up the elevator. So, yeah, it's kind of a bit of a mission. So, I extended the wire out this way, it goes onto this block through this repeater into that block there, which will turn that torch off when it gets powered, and it'll, it'll dispense out a cart. And that's what we want. And the same here, so the wire comes through here, up this way, and around the back, and then into the block. And this one here just piggybacks onto this one, so it should be... Oh, oh whoa, 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 no, we're not okay. Um, this one will set off a bunch of different things we don't want to. Hmm... I need to have a, uh, gosh, okay, I need to have a repeater here like this, okay, so when the wire, when the power comes down here, it'll go around here and up there like that, and then this one needs to send the signal directly into there, like so, so um, the power will come around here, it won't go back up this line. And it can't go back out that line. Okay, fine. <laughs> That's better. Whew. That was lucky. That was lucky. I was going to do a full-on whistle into the microphone. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't appreciate that, so I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, torch there, and a torch over here. And let's bust all this down. Alright. Alright, good. Okay, that'll work. So, um, that's what I've done there. And I guess the only way really now to test this out is to... Um, to do a live fire. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't hooked up the dispenser up there. Let's go up there and quickly just check on this. I don't think I've hooked it up properly yet. No. Okay. So it comes up to here now. Um, the torch directly below this block should be off. So let's break it quickly and have a look. Good. Okay, so it's off. Right. Um, and now if I power. It won't power this block, so I should be able to put a redstone torch here. Uh huh. And I'm not going to be able to get up here, am I? Right. And then I just need to place a block on top of that. And I need to get back up there. Oh, 
No, I'm stuck. Oh man. Made it. All right, so uh, then I need a redstone torch here. A block there. Take this out. And a redstone torch here. It'll fire off an item, which was just a junk piece of junk. How'd that cut get in there? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I know. <laughs> uh huh. What did it fire out then? Alright, okay. Let's test it out. If everything went well, if everything has gone right, when I select uh, an animal, let's go quickly just check to see if they'll bred up yet. So the cows look like they're growing up, sheep are growing up, pigs are growing up. So let's try, um, let's make sure all the switches are right. So, yes, we're going over, going over and around. Okay, fine. Let's choose cow, because I think cow will be the most obvious one. Uh, should switch this, drop a cart and everything like that. So let's go down and choose cow. How do we get to the restaurant from here? Can I go down here? Right, we're down here. Okay, so this one here should be cow, so let's push the button. Head off over here and see if we can see a cow fire out. Well, that ain't looking good. <laughs> let's go see what happened. So we fired the button. Okay, we'll switch the track. Yeah. Okay, alright, okay. Um. Oh. What's happened here? Oh! Oh! We've made a little power loop here. So, um, we powered this redstone here, went through this block, and it's powered this redstone and locked everything. Ah. Oh. Did the cart launch though? Did the cart go? Did we lose? Did we send a cart? Let's go see if we can find a cart. There was a cart there, the signal didn't make it. I uh, can't see anything stuck in there. Right, so... Um, this may trigger everything off if I try and fix this. So let's go down and have a look. Okay, we need to break. Uh, let's take let's take the item out of here first. And if we break that, yeah, I have no idea if that's sent off a card or not. Sounds like something we click. I think that sent our cow our cow out the window. Um, hmm. So let's work this out. If we do this, it's going to fail. I need redstone here. Or do I? No, I need redstone here and there. So I can put another repeater there. And I can break that, throw that there. That should work, right? Yeah, I don't see why not. Alright, let's go try this again. Um, go and we're going to want to do another cow. Okay, let's see. Have all the tracks switched back? Yeah, they've all switched back. Okay, <laughs> let's try that again. Cow take two. Button. Let's go see what happens. Oh, wait, there's no cart. There's <laughs> no. Try to fire out a cart. There's nothing in here because it went out there last time. Okay, let's put some carts in. Uh huh. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> now the track's already switched, that's okay, we'll just leave it switched. Um, and we'll just go ahead and choose another cow. Oh gosh. So much wiring and stuff to go wrong, right? Okay, let's try it again. Waiting. Oh yes! Success! Okay, the cow's on fire, which is good. Let's try, um, this should reset, this should reset the line. Let's try a sheep. Yes, yes, success. Sheep was on fire and fire and fire through there. Oh, brilliant. Let's try the pig. Yes. 
pig is on fire. I don't think it was on fire when it came out of the barrel though. We may need to cull another cow on the cannon. Let me go ahead and, and try that and see what happens. Alright, cool. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to muck around now and tune this thing up and hopefully we can get this to work. And we'll do one final test and then we're going to call it quits because we've been at this for ages. And then we're going to have to come back here and sort of make this room look like a restaurant. At the moment it doesn't, but we've put the bare bones down and done all the wiring. It needs a lot of tidying up and so I need to go ahead and do that. Uh, but yeah man, happy with this. Happy with this. It's all working um, working now, it's all working to plan. And we can choose what animal we want to fire out the cannon. And these are our pigs, sheep and of course our cows. So that's cool. I'm happy. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Alright, so I killed two more cows down in the cannon there. And uh, in the cells I should say. And the um, I fired off a pig and it made it directly in the centre of that torch tower there. But I don't think it was on fire. I'm not sure. I can't really tell. So I'm going to try it again. Just uh, manually hit this button. So I'm just going to pick up a pig. And it's going to fire it down there. And I don't know if the pig's on fire or not. Let's have a look. See if we can find out. No, the pig's not on fire. Hmm. I don't know how to get the pig to stay on fire though. Because it's... The, the pig seems to just sort of... Avoid the flames. So I don't know if my pigs are alive in there or dead. <laughs> so I guess we should go down and check the torch tower. And see if there's any raw pig um, flesh down there. Whoopee! Woo! <laughs> look at squid. Alright, so I wanted to just have a look and see if the pigs are actually alive up there or if they're in here dead. Oh! But... Oh, okay. No, it says... Hmm. I'm confused. Hmm. Alright. I'm going up. Check it out. Ah, well there you go. They're actually still all alive in there. This is not cool. Um, I guess what I could do is put the cows back in there and move this over so they land on top of the actual fire itself. Or maybe... Hmm. Yeah, this is tricky. This is very tricky. I could sort of uh, make it so that they land on the first lot of blocks there where the flames are and then they just sort of um, fall in with the momentum and then run around and then burn now uh, that might work um, yeah I just don't know why that isn't working that should actually set them on fire hmm okay well it turns out I went and, went and checked out my test world I've got nether rack all the way along the barrel in my test world I've only got two blocks on there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab some nether rack and try and see if I can do the same thing um, and the pigs and the cows are going a lot further than what they are on this machine um, yeah so I just need to um, <laughs> what? I just need to go grab some of that stuff and I'll be back in a sec oh man it's a good thing I don't have to go far man I'm loving these flags I'm loving them they actually just made it it's just made it all fit together now now it makes sense alright so I'm going to head back up now and lay down all this nether rack and there's a fly on my microphone. Get off! <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We're going to go down into the tube here. We're going to put out these fires. Oh no! Maybe not like that. Alright. And I'm going to... Um, break that. Oh! I thought it was going to make water. <laughs> um, and I don't want to break that. But I do want to place on a trapdoor like that. And then all these are going to be... Um, near the rack, like so, and I'm going to catch myself on fire, yep, so I need to get out of here somehow, alright, okay, cool, so let's work our way backwards, now I don't think this one needs to be on fire, so I'm going to leave that one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and hopefully that fixes our problem, now I'm going to go down into the restaurant, and I'm going to fire off a pig, that will be the one to tell if this works or not so hopefully we get to see a flaming pig no pig where's the pig why is there no pig why is there no pig it said it worked ah oh, man why is there no pig did I, did I not wait long enough let's try it again button should be a pig come on pig piggy come on pig why is there no where the, where the 
What's even to the ping? I what? Ah, gosh. I mean, this thing should be working awesome, but it ain't. Okay, let's go check out. Go up here. Uh huh. No, 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 no. Nothing here. Nothing here. It's telling me the tracks switched or something. Did it actually switch? Is this actually, is this full? What? 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 Oh, oh, broken, ah, oh, broken redstone. What did I do? Oh, um. Uh, okay. It caught on fire. Dang it, man. <laughs> okay, after everything caught on fire, I think I might have fixed it. If not, um, I don't know. I'm going to have to spend some time looking at it again, <laughs> working out what's wrong. Let's hit the pig button. Pig went flying, man. Wait, wait, where did that pig go? <laughs> uh, man. Alright, I need to sort this out. I'll be back when it's done. Alright, I've called in Cypress for a bit of help here. We need to do some cow spotting. <laughs> we need to work out whereabouts these animals are going to end up. So, um, they're going clean over the torch and we need to catch them somehow. So I need to make a little um, thing. Alright. Here's Cypherus, and he's going to help me do this, so I'm going to go over there and mark out a little platform, and then um, we should be able to find out where these things are going to go. Right, I need some cobble, yeah. and I'm going to jump down. Yo! Alright, so up here, and then we're going to go straight out like this. Okay, so I will go back and shoot a cow. <laughs> this sounds so bung. Right, I'm going down to where the um, cows are. The, oh, sorry, where the restaurant is. And we hit the cow button. Okay, sheep next. I'll do one more cow. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Alright, so Cypress has um, planted down a coal block. Can you just see it over there? All right. That is fine, that's perfect. So um, that's all good. So basically we're gonna fire them out over to there and that's that block there is now gonna be the center of the new tower. So I'm gonna move the tower over and it should be good. Alright. Thanks, man. The master builder at work. You must learn from the master. <laughs> awesome, man. It's so good he's helping out. It's great. Thanks, Cypherus. Hey, zombie. Alrighty, I'm over at spawn. <laughs> and it's time to say goodbye. Now, we didn't quite get as far as I wanted to. And I also lost a bunch of footage. I lost a ton of it. Um, Cypress actually came over and helped out quite a bit. And I was recording it, but it's just disappeared. Um, yeah, he uh, did some work on the tower and made it look all fully awesome. And there's also another little feature which he thought would be pretty cool to add in, which he added in. And um, I have to show you that too. But I'm going to show you that next time. Anyway, I seem to have found myself in jail and <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> but i guess i guess that's okay i can just sort of sit in here for a bit and think about what i'm gonna do next all right 
I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I'll catch you next time and maybe we can do a little tour of this place because it's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, we'll probably have a look at it next time. All right, catch you next time. Later. Oh, man, I'm busting. And I wonder if I take off my armor. Yep, no armor on. So now I'm slightly naked. And then try this. Log in and get that imposter. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you. Come on, kill you. Kill you. Kill you. Kill you. Kill you. Yes. Ah. I killed myself. <laughs> oh, that imposter. How dare he? Um, I've got these extra items lying around. <laughs> uh, oops.